Welcome to Excel Deploy. This video will walk you through the installation process using the command line installer. After you register for a free trial at cblabs.com, you'll receive a download link and a license key by email. Don't forget to check your spam folder. If you have the Enterprise Edition of Excel Deploy, you can log in at dist.zblabs.com and download the Excel Deploy zip file and your license. After you download the zip file, unzip it in the location where you want to install Excel Deploy. Keep this location in mind because you'll need it again later. If you have a license file, copy it to the conf directory. If you have a license key instead of a file, don't worry. You can skip this step and you'll be prompted to enter the key later. Next, open a command line interface tool such as Terminal on OS X or the command prompt on Microsoft Windows. Use the cd command to navigate to the bin directory where you unzipped the Excel Deploy zip file. Now you need to start the server setup wizard. The exact command depends on your operating system. For example, this video shows OS X, which uses the bash shell by default. This means I need to execute bash run.sh setup. If you're using Windows, you should execute run.cmd setup. Excel Deploy offers a simple setup option, which is great for getting started quickly. Type yes to use the simple setup. Next, enter the password that you want the admin user to use. Admin is a special user that initially has all permissions in Excel Deploy. You can add other users later. This password must be at least six characters long. Be sure to remember it because you'll need it to log in. Retype the password to confirm it. You can optionally generate a password encryption key, too. This is a good idea if you plan to store passwords in Excel Deploy's database. For example, passwords that are needed to connect to your middleware. Answer yes to generate an encryption key. Now you can choose whether you want to protect the encryption key with a password. If you do, keep in mind that you'll need to provide this password every time you start the Excel Deploy server. If you don't want to add this password protection, just press Enter twice. And that's it! The setup wizard shows a summary of the settings that it will use to complete the server setup. Answer yes to confirm the settings. If you want to change anything, answer no and go through the setup wizard again. Now you can start Excel Deploy by executing the run.sh or run.cmd command again. If you chose to protect your password encryption key with a password, you'll be prompted to enter it during the startup process. After the server starts, you'll see the address where you can access it. Just paste this in a browser such as Firefox or Chrome. Now it's time to enter your license key if you didn't previously place a license file in the conf folder. Simply copy the full key from the email that you received from Zebia Labs, paste it in the box, and submit it. And now you can log into Excel Deploy. The username is admin, and the password is the one that you specified during the setup process. To learn more about getting started with Zebia Labs, visit zebialabs.com and check out our other videos.